Hello skate fans, welcome to my channel, Victor Althorp, another video for all you guys. This one is a special one, however, I thought it'd be super interesting for you guys to see what I and my wife, Sofia Prasvianova, two professional, multiple time Olympic speed skaters do in a hard day of training. So I invited Sofia here and we're gonna take you guys through a day of what we do here in Utah, the United States, on a high altitude training camp where we train on the Olympic ice in Salt Lake City. It's a daily vlog. <laughs> Take it away. How do we start a day here? We wake up pretty early. Gotta heat our ice, uh, ice at like 9-ish. So we gotta be at the ring at like 8. So we gotta leave this place at like 7. So it we, is a long drive. Yeah, we wake up before 7. We make a nice breakfast. Mm. Today we made a avocado sandwich. <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, nine out of 10 days, we're in such a rush. We're so tired that we just eat a handful of bagels. Yeah, we just grab a bagel and we're on the way to the ring. It's, we have quite a drive. Um, obviously, like I said, we're at high altitude. So 2,200 meters above sea level, which is super nice developing those red blood cells, making us faster basically overnight. Uh, but it also means we have to drive for about 40 minutes down mm -hmm. to the valley where we have the ice rink. Yeah, so we hit the ice ring around 8 and we do a solid warm up. Sometimes we hop on the treadmill. It's like a running treadmill, but for ice skaters. We Fast put, and big. Yeah, we put on our inline skates and we try to work on the straightaway technique, work on the small things, and it's kind of part of warm up before we hit the ice. As you can probably already imagine by now, we have so much equipment because this is a serious workout. So inline skates, long track skates, obviously different footwear for different warm up exercises, um, which also means we need a big backpack. So shout out to our sponsor, Snowshine Sport. They made a backpack called the Shiner and that thing holds everything you need as a skater. And you can even put your skates in small pockets on the outside. They hold inlines, ice skates. So you can just see what Sophia packed in her bag this morning. Bunch of energy bars for power bar, some ketone shots as well before after workouts. Yeah, like on the day like today, I got to bring two pairs of skates and it's nice that I can put my inlines inside and my ice skates on the, on the side pockets. So I have uh, free hands to carry my bagel and the coffee. <laughs> so when we're done with our warm up, uh, like Sophia said, we do the treadmill for the straightaway technique, straightaway warm up. And we also do turn belt sometimes and different imitation exercises, really just to, to focus on the different technical cues we're working on and to get warm. Uh, as you probably figured, ice skating, we are pretty cold. It's constantly yeah, it's unfrozen cold. water. So you gotta bring a lot of warm clothes and warm stay up is active. Pretty crucial, yeah. yeah. Then we hit the ice, Vic and I have different kinds of workout because I'm a sprinter, he's a long distance skater. So I mostly skate little but fast. He skates a lot but slow. <laughs> but even even the long workouts for me are still short because it's like it's such an intense sport that we try and keep it short mm -hmm. uh, and then high quality, even for long distance. Yeah. We have a super nice team that yeah. we meet up with. A great coach. Uh, our team's pretty big. I think we have about 20 skaters. That said, we're all in different training programs a little because some people are one that want to peak at the world championships, some want to peak at the national championships, and some just want to get fast at skating. So it's a little individual, but it's super nice to almost always have good team, skaters to yeah. team up with. Team yeah. Around. yeah. Our coach is quite amazing writing five, six different programs for one team. So we're all on different programs. So when we're done with our ice workout, we sometimes do a little cool down, a bit of stretching, depending on what we have later in the day. And then we basically drive up the canyon again yeah. and get some solid lunch. Yeah. So if we are really hungry, we get lunch, take away or something. We get home, we rest a bit. We try and, try and do our best to, to work on all those things that are not considered training maybe, but that are very a very important part of being an athlete. So things like going over our efforts in that workout, looking at training plans, we um, we do our breath work with the AeroFit device. We uh, we also use the NeuroVisor to to stimulate the brain. Arguably, the most important part of being an athlete, as well as a human being, is to to have the thing up here on point. We try and uh, include those little details, like the things that can improve us on the eyes. So we try our best to be aware and to stay focused on our routines. And after that, we have second workout most of the days so we either hit the gym or bike at home today we have 
different workouts. I have bike and they have weightlifting, so we hit the gym together. As you would imagine, as a long distance skater, <laughs> I do I do look pretty heavy. Yeah. So I bike one half hour and while big lift big weights. And afterwards, we try and relax in the hot tub. When you add all this together, the day is basically be over at this point. Um, we spend, to be honest, probably the majority of our evenings at Cafe Supus. It's a, a cafe that we came across when we moved, more or less moved here to the US for the winters at least. And they just have so many different options of healthy food. So even on the rest day, we can get salads, some fibers. Or on a day like this, where even tomorrow we also have a pretty big day of training, we um, we can get some solid carbohydrates, some good protein. They have at the moment they have some balls they just launched that we're pretty big fans of. Um, so we had to Cafe Supers. Big shout out here. They make some delicious food uh, for any occasion, basically. Yeah, we, we like cooking, but on days like this, where we finish at 7 p.m. and we just hungry and we want to rest, and we just train a bunch, we want to eat food and just rest. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, skate, sleep, eat, repeat kind of lifestyle. Yeah, sometimes we even get a dessert. It's very good. <laughs> but then after there's still like time to to relax, enjoy just being us. Mm -hmm. um, after all, we're still a couple. We're still <laughs> not just skaters, human. Um, even when we take off the skin suit. So um, the house we're or the basement basically we're renting right now has like a little home cinema thing. Yeah. So we just uh, get in there, put on recovery pants and uh, enjoy a, a TV show. Yeah, it's the kind of pants that squeeze your muscle and like make the blood flow better. Com uncomfortably yeah. comfortable. <laughs> uncomfortably comfortable. Obviously we have a pretty specific and special lifestyle and if any of you are curious to something we didn't really elaborate or talk about in this video, We'd love to hear about it in the comments. Yeah. We will be happy to make a vlog 2.0. Yeah, it uh, could be fun, fun doing yeah. sprint training or summer training. Or... Training in summer look different from what we have now, so that would be also exciting to see. Yeah, so just let us know if, uh, if you found it to be interesting, if it's something you want more of, or if we should totally kick Sophia out of yes. the channel. <laughs> just let it be all about me. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> see you next time.